Hello, Internet. My name is Travis Nielsen. This is Deb Tips for Designers. We're going to do internet stuff today. For the past two weeks, we've been talking about the history and philosophy behind HTML5. This week, we want to talk about the physiology of HTML5, or in other words, what does it look and act like? The main concept that we'll be wrestling with is something called the document object model, or in other words, the DOM. The DOM is a description of the web page that you're looking at, the markup that makes it what it is. It's the relationship that each element has in the markup with those surrounding it. Let's just jump right in, I'll show you. We're looking at the HTML5 branding site. I mentioned this site in the last video and I thought it would be fun to look at it again as an example today. I have the inspector here open on the right and we're going to take a look at the structure of these HTML tags. Notice that the markup here is literally describing the web page that we see on the left. All of these elements are called tags, and they tell the browser not only what content we have here, but what kind of content. For example, this is a nav, and this would be a header. Also notice that these tags have a nested organization. In other words, they are placed inside each other. Because they are nested like this, they have a familial relationship meaning that we can refer to one tag inside another as a parent and child, and as two tags on the same level as siblings. This becomes very important to understand when you are using CSS later on, because you need to select very specific nodes here to style them. Understanding the DOM and how it works and is organized is fundamental to using CSS and JavaScript. Now the reason I'm showing you the DOM inside this dev tool and not inside a traditional code editor is because I want to illustrate an elusive idea. The idea is that the DOM is not the code that you write. What I mean to say is that it is not always the code that you write that ends up in the DOM. The DOM, remember it's called the document object model, is the result of your code, the final output of your browser. Sometimes the code that we write is not the exact same as what we see in the DOM. An example of this is when you code a WordPress template where the output in the DOM will be the thing that you write populated by whatever is in the database and multiplied by how many of them there are. One of the coolest things about the DOM is that it can be manipulated after the browser renders it. And this is often done with JavaScript. So let me type this in here. Notice that the navigation here on the left has changed to reflect what I edited here in the DOM. Now before we end, I want to talk a little bit about something called semantics. Using the appropriate elements or tags in HTML is something that we call semantic markup. Semantics are very important, especially when we consider that the websites that we're making are becoming ever more transportable. You can view it on your computer, phone, TV, even the eyeglasses you're wearing, and everything in between. So it's important that our markup is device agnostic, meaning in everywhere that you see it, it means the same thing. Also, when we're using semantics, we're using common conventions, which become so important when working in teams. It helps us communicate more effectively with each other. And also, when you open a document that you haven't touched in two years, you can easily understand what you were doing and what needs to be done now. All right, that's it for this episode. This has been part three in a series I call HTML5 Basics. Please check out the last two videos if you haven't already. In the first, I talk about HTML5 history, and in the second, the philosophy behind building it. So please check those out. As I mentioned before, this channel is really new, and I'm still not sure what I'm doing, so thank you for sticking with me this far. Lots of love. You can join in on the love by liking the video, sharing it with your friends, subscribing, we're up on that to get found. We're not to subscribe to Dev Tips. It's time to get, get subscribe Sometimes it's Dev Tips. Subscribe to Dev Tips. Get some Dev Tips for designers. <laughs>